Hey everyone, Miss Fisher here, and today we're going to be reading Santa Claus and the Three Bears by Maria Madungo. Let's get started. Once upon a time, there were three bears, a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. It was Christmas Eve, and they were busy decorating their house with holly and berries and icicles. Papa Bear was bringing in a tree from the forest. Mama Bear was preparing Christmas pudding. And Baby Bear was busy getting in the way. Even though he was a baby, he was still pretty big. The stockings were hung and the tree was decorated when Mama Bear called everyone to dinner. She put the Christmas pud pudding in a great big bowl for Papa Bear. She put some in a middle-sized bowl for herself. And she put some in a wee little bowl for Baby Bear. But when they sat down to eat, the pudding was too hot. Let's take a walk while the pudding cools, said Papa Bear. We can see all the Christmas lights, said Mama Bear. I'm coming too, said Baby Bear. And the three bears set out together. Meanwhile, Santa had finished delivering presents to everyone in the Southern Hemisphere, and he was halfway through the northern part of the world when his sleigh landed on the roof of the Three Bears' house. All three bears were on Santa's list for Christmas presents. Their house shook and rumbled as Santa Claus tumbled down the chimney. Santa stood up and brushed himself off. He looked around and saw the pudding on the table. After eating milk and cookies all night, the pudding looked tasty and warm. Christmas pudding! What a splendid idea, Santa exclaimed, and took a spoonful from the great big bowl. This pudding is too hot, he said, and tasted the pudding in the middle-sized bowl. This pudding is too cold. He decided to move on to the pudding in the wee little bowl. This pudding is just right, he said, and he ate it all up. Then Santa Claus sat down in Papa Bear's chair. This chair is too hard, he said. He sat down in Mama Bear's chair. This chair is too soft. And then he sat down in Baby Bear's chair. It was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. So then Santa bounced up and down a little bit just to get comfortable, and the chair broke. And Santa landed, boom, on the floor. Santa picked himself up and decided he needed a little nap before continuing on his way. He took his sack and went upstairs, where he found a three bears' beds in a row. Santa Claus laid down on the bed of Papa Bear and said, This bed is too high. And he got up and tried the bed of Mama Bear. Whoa, this bed is too low, he said as he rolled onto the floor. Last of all, Santa Claus tried the wee little bed of Baby Bear, and it was just right. So he snuggled under the covers and fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears were returning home. Somebody has been eating my pudding, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Somebody has been eating my pudding said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Somebody has been eating my pudding, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice, and has eaten all of it up. The three bears looked around and saw that someone had indeed been there.
Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice. And it has been broken to pieces. The three bears ran upstairs to see if they could find the mysterious visitor. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone is sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice. And who could it be? The three bears looked at Baby Bear's bed. They saw lots of white hair, a red jacket covered with soot, and sticking out from the bottom of the blanket, two black boots. It's Santa Claus, cried Baby Bear. Oh no, and ho, 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 said Santa Claus. Promise you won't tell anyone you saw me, please. Then Santa reached into his sack and pulled out a great big present for Baby Bear, a middle-sized present for Mama Bear, and a wee little present for Papa Bear. Baby Bear was very happy. Can I open it? He, s he asked. Not till morning, said Mama Bear. Morning, said Santa. I'd better get going. The three bears felt the house rumble and shake as Santa went up the chimney and back to his sleigh. Sorry about the chair, Santa called. I'll bring you a new one next year. And with that, Santa shook the reins and the sleigh took off into the night. The end. All right, everyone. I sure hope you enjoyed Santa Claus and the Three Bears. I love books that are like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's so cute to me. All right, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.